hell of a job as the RNC co-chair. You know, I get to go to bed every single night and wake up every single morning listening to, listening about voter integrity. It's really great. I, I'm really, really excited for November 6th when Laura can turn over in the morning and not talk about voter integrity. But she's doing a hell of a job. Ladies and gentlemen, Laura Trump. Pennsylvania, is anybody here ready to send Donald J. Trump to back prison. to the White House? Well, we're 31 days away, one month from right now, as Donald Trump always says, will be the most important day in the history of America because this is a pivotal moment for our country. And I don't even have to tell anybody that here, we can all feel it. This is no longer a fight between Republican versus Democrat, left versus right. It is good versus evil. And good is going to win this battle, ladies and gentlemen. And if you had any question whether God exists and he performs miracles, we got our answer here on July 13th, right here in Butler, Pennsylvania. He spared Donald Trump's life because he was not finished with Donald Trump. And he did it not once. So this is, this is kind of the thing with people who believe in a God, basically what she is saying and what these people and some of you that may be watching this agree with is that magically there is an eye in the sky that felt Donald Trump was more important to keep alive at like, I don't know, what is he like 80 or something? 80, 81, 82, somewhere around there. Then every kid with, you know, terminal cancer, every kid that's been, you know, raped, bit, beaten and murdered, um, any family, any, children recently in the hurricanes or earthquakes that have died. The amount of mental gymnastics that someone has to do to embellish themselves in that kind of worldview is really Olympic level. It's, oh. But twice. And I've said it time and time again, but now you feel it more than ever. Donald Trump was made for such a time as this. Tell me again, it's not a cult. It's such an honor to be back here in Butler. And you know, I knew before Donald Trump even said he wanted to come back here, that he would come back to Butler, Pennsylvania, because in life you can operate with fear and cowardice or you can operate with strength and faith. And that's what Donald Trump operates with, strength. Strength? You mean the guy who's too scared to do a second debate? Is that strength? Hmm. All right. Strength and faith, and that's the kind of leader we need to see back at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. We need strength in this country. And Eric's right. I've been doing a little uh, something with making sure that we have free, fair, and transparent elections and that only legal citizens are voting in our elections here in the United States of America. That's okay. Did she just say legal citizen? It's been the number one focus of the RNC since I took over alongside our chairman, Michael Watley, back in March. We have had a big goal of recruiting 100,000 people to volunteer as poll watchers, poll workers, legal experts on the ground. And we said, I don't know, 100,000 is a lot. I'm happy to report that we have trained 200,000 people across this country to do that. Train to do what? The RNC can't train people to be election officials. If she's talking about poll watchers, that's not an actual job. That doesn't exist. That's basically them saying they're trying to train people to conduct voter intimidation. 
like poll watching isn't a job it doesn't exist i don't think you can like how would you determine fair and free and transparent you can't force someone to talk to you about how they voted yeah sounds like straight up voter intimidation So our message is very clear. If you are a person who is considering cheating in our elections, we will find you, we will track you down, and we will prosecute you to the full extent of the law. Like daddy? <laughs> and if you're an illegal citizen voting in our election, we'll track you down and prosecute you to the full extent of the law, and you're leaving this country. How's that? What the fuck is an illegal citizen? If you're a citizen of America and you're somehow an illegal citizen and deport you to where? Back to America? If you're a citizen of America, how are you an illegal citizen? I, I would give her the benefit of the doubt that she misspoke, but this is the second or third time she's used that phrase, illegal citizen. I know the Trump family is, you know, on the lower side of the intelligence gene pool, but this seems very pointed. This seems purposeful. What the fuck is an illegal citizen? Well, I suppose, I mean, Trump even said he would deport uh, legal immigrants who went through the process of immigration and are here waiting for their status to change. Fucking racist. That sound. Don't do it. It's not worth it. But real quick, before I go, is everybody in this crowd registered to vote? Don't vote by mail, right? Or do vote by mail. He's flip-flopped so many times on that. Um, man, I just cannot get over this illegal citizen thing. It almost seems like that tied with saying that we have more than 100,000 poll watchers. It seems like they're just trying to intimidate people who can legally vote who might be legal immigrants and legal citizens. I don't know that you can get more Gestapo than that, right? Well, unless they were to say they were to, they wanted to round up millions and millions of people and deport them out of America, even those who are legal immigrants. That would be more Gestapo. I guess it would also be more Gestapo if Trump talked about, I don't know, like jailing political opponents, but not producing any evidence that they broke any law. Yeah, no, it just sounds like they're a bunch of Nazikins. <laughs>